Namaste. I am Chavi Sharma from Girls Dot Bath, which is an empowerment platform exclusively for women. Today, I am hosting a live session which is based on mental health, and I am waiting for an expert named Dr. Rashi Agarwal, who is a psychiatrist. Let's see whether she is here or not. Yeah, she is here. Hello. Hi, Doctor. You are looking great. Hi, thank you. Thank same to you. Thank oh, you so welcome. much for having me. And it uh, is really great when I see new organizations, specifically uh, when I talk to the younger generation, and they start like, "Oh, we want to have a talk on mental health. So are you up for it?" So it just pumps me up that yes, obviously this is what basically I do. Huh? That's why. <laughs> So yeah, uh, let's start. Tell us about yourself. Hi everyone. So I'm Dr. Rashi Agarwal. I have done my MD in psychiatry, which means I deal with everything related to mental health. And mental health is not just anxiety and depression. How we see it over social media, it's much more. It has all of the addiction. It talks about the psychodynamic theory of how and why people are affected by mental health. And yes, many much more severe things like psychosis, schizophrenia, as well as therapy. so specifically awesome. i would say that after lockdown the light for mental health or the emphasis has somewhat increased which is any day a very good sign for all of us okay so like uh, what uh, uh, made you take up psychiatry as a profession okay so um, i always say this that i come from a family of doctors so i knew that i wanted to do something in the medical field but since uh my internship days and my prep days there was something about psychiatry which kind of pulled me towards itself so it's oh. not completely like in medical branch that it's not just about medications we get to deal a lot with therapy also and yeah so i think it's a very upcoming thing and the need for psychiatry psychologists psychiatric social workers is just going to increase over time So, Doctor Rashi, uh, do you think women are more prone to mental health problems as compared to men? Okay, if if we talk statistically, as per what the data is available to us, what studies have been done, uh, it has been shown that women at least are the risk of two to three times more than males to develop any kind of mental health issues, specifically from sixteen to eighteen years of age, starting until thirty years of age. So, this is basically the starting age where uh women tend to start any kind of mental health issue that might just arise at that time uh but this is what the stats say if we talk practicality also and what we say in our day to day living thing or in our work professional life also i say at least 1.5 to 2 times women either are affected more or seek help more uh but then again we it is not that simple if we just try to narrow it down to oh if women are menstrual cycle or people who identify as women are have a lot of hormonal changes hence they are suffering through this we cannot just zero it down on this there is a lot of interplay from psychodynamic factors psychosocial stress the expectations that society asks of us as women or the basic duties that you are expected to fulfill or maybe just considering an hint amount of the menstrual cycle also being a culprit at one end uh but it is not that easy to point it out that we can't just brush it off as saying oh women are just affected more it has a lot to do with what society are upbringing and in general what the notion about women has been and uh, do you think women don't take up this uh, mental health issue seriously oh mm, uh, again um, uh, we would not be able to answer this in very yes clear cut yes or no i would like to bring to the new notice there is uh, this hierarchy people who study psychology would be knowing it's maslow's basic hierarchy needs so on the base it's like we say in hindi very regularly roti kapda makan like this is what you need to fulfill before you start going on to your other hierarchy needs mm -hmm. then shelter food comes here so this is basic that we need air a shelter clothes basically to wear and then we move up all levels so yes it's not just about mental health women per se cross sectionally if you talk about the whole population we know that everywhere women make sacrifices and take a step back when it comes to them 
so it's their family their responsibilities their kids and everything is done and then if they have little bit time resources and energy left they will think about themselves absolutely so, i say seeking help at any level be it at a physical level also is a thing of privilege which we do not recognize maybe because it comes easily to a lot of us that it's not just about i'm not willing to seek help like it does not just add up to this that if i want to i can get help we do not realize how privileged we are when we talk about this so uh generally i would say a lot of women should a lot lot of women want to take help but it is all about the circumstances it's all about does their family allow it to them to do so is the budget allowing them to do so are they aware that they can seek help like Yes, this can exactly. also be one of the very big question yes you know there is this stigma attached to the, you know uh, consulting a professional regarding mental health so like are there any indicators or something which women can recognize that yeah now i have to consult a professional so like they should be aware of that mm, yes the stigma is still there as i just said in the very beginning the stigma has somewhat lessened post covid when people started realizing that yes we need to seek help for our mental health i talk about this a lot and i say this repeatedly that a lot of things related to mental health are just present on social media like specifically the stigma also once you move out in the society like let me just rephrase that it is more highlighted here कि स्टिग्मा 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 ये बहुत ज्यादा हो रहा है वेन यू मूव आउट साइड वेन यू गो इन द रियल वर्ल्ड यू सी दीपल यू एक्चुअली लाइक ऑब्वियसली वी आर नॉट टॉकिंग ऑन माइल्डर इशूज विच पीपल वेर फंक्शनिंग इज इन टैक्ट एंड देव मेंटल हेल्थ इशूज स्पेसिफिकली वेन इट कम्स डाउन टू दैट लेवल दैट माई फंक्शनिंग इज इन टैक्ट सो देन फैमिली विल से गो एंड सी कैट बिकॉज यू आर नॉट एबल टू कुक क्लीन एंड टेक केयर ऑफ अस यू आर नॉट एबल टू थिंक यू नॉट एबल टू डू वर्क फॉर अस हेन्स यू गो एंड सी कैट so Last when you day. move over from mild to at least moderate or severity in illness that comes a point when people really start seeking help that at that time stigma somehow seems to vanish away because they feel now ab to kuch zyada gadbad ho gayi hai because now we have to go beyond that and we have to seek help it's not done now secondly uh, like in medical colleges i would say the opd for the psychiatric consultation goes on from somewhere around 100 to 150 very easy like these number of patients you are seeing daily and amongst wow. them you would very easily say 70 to 80% are women oh god that, so, that's and, quite sad yeah but uh, somehow it is gives you a lot of satisfaction that see so many people are coming and seeking it they are realizing it huh? they are yeah. coming there and these are not the people these are not people like you and me who know about mental health they are not people who had time to sit and think and be like oh i think i am sad today i should seek it these are people who do not realize the meaning of mental health they are people who just want to get better and they just say something somewhere is wrong somebody told me this brain doctor will do something and hence i have come here and uh, for people who feel that uh, getting a psychiatric help is a very expensive thing i will just burst a very big bubble here uh, that Uh, medical colleges the opd is run anywhere from 1 rupee to 5 rupee for per consultation just just this much yeah so wow. you get a prescription made for 1 rupee you can see a psychologist in many 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 medical colleges for 30 rupees so it women should notice this yeah yes. so economic should not be one of the reasons you're not seeking help i am very sure 1 rupee prescription is very very affordable it's literally nothing and you see that is what i said that uh, seeing so many underprivileged people coming and seeking help on a daily basis in numbers anywhere ranging more than 100 it is a big eye opener and there you want to like literally there have been times when i ne- i wanted to pull those women and be like can i record your story i really want to show the world and i have done that on previous occasion where i have taken permission and uh signed a consent form with them and I'm like no i real people want i want people to see the real india like this is okay, what yeah right this yeah. is what's actually happening how women from underprivileged or backward or 
so called lower socio economic status they are so well aware they are seeking help for themselves what is wrong with the rest of us they are so freely coming taking medications taking therapy getting all the things then because they want to get well why i'll tell you one of the reasons because if they are not well they cannot do minimal wage work and they cannot earn for their family so they do not have the luxury of being sick some it's a very controversial point i'll tell you this that being sick Sad. and not being able to work is a luxury <laughs> because in today's so called hustle culture we cannot afford to miss work yeah so But women from being in silence is like quite bad na so if they are coming up that's good yeah so imagine they they are people who are not educated if you ask them to sign they're still uh, putting a thumb impression but if they can recognize the subtle signs that i have chronic headache i am not able to sleep well i feel that i am irritable a lot of times i feel that i am not able to sleep nicely and i am getting more fights with my family i think i need help so if they can realize it why are we the middle and the upper socio economic status so much hua about this stigma stigma everywhere I think after COVID, this is a kind of you know ripple effect. Now, like everyone is realizing, yeah, there is something called depression which exists, and like we should accept it, whether it's a poor person or a rich person, doesn't matter actually. Okay, absolutely. So, doctor, uh, can you like differentiate between anxiety and depression? For just to simplify it, I would say. a uh, depression would consist of basically three things so depression uh, we say it has low mood basically being sad most of the time throughout the past 15 days mostly it's not like a consistent sadness okay. decreased energy in your day to day activities which people reportedly so see sadness is not something that people very frequently come and say they will say things like i don't have the energy to do things that i previously liked example i don't like singing dancing painting i don't like going out with my family i don't like talking to people even that exhausts me so these are subtle signs it is not very clear cut book criteria that sadness decrease energy increase fatigue decrease sleep nobody comes to you with a textbook they will give you subtle signs and it is up to us to pick them up and classify what is the illness and how we manage to treat it now so this is on an average depression and anxiety would range from like a to z anything is anxiety very frequently i have tell you if i have to tell you very simple symptoms would be palpitations which people repeat of sudden heartbeat like i can hear my heartbeat it sounds my ears or in my head also a uh, chronic headaches tremors in the hands brain fog which is inability to concentrate it can be tingling or numbing sensations in my whole body it can be a freeze response also so if there is any chronic thing and it is going on for a larger duration of time it might be a symptom of anxiety very easily like a lot of people with chronic stomach issues they keep on going to a stomach like a gastro specialist a physician and ultimately many many times it is resolved with anti anxiety meds so yeah, just okay, depends on how your body is reacting to anxiety you could range from one a to z like anxiety is this big big blanket and a lot of illnesses just fall below it i think anxiety is like maybe the start of depression or like uh, the they are different illnesses, illnesses but usually in more than 30% cases they are comorbid like anxiety can come with depression either they start together or and when anxiety depression can start and anxiety can catch up with it or anxiety was going on and then depression could catch or they could just start together they are little bit different illnesses anxieties in which we hindi very commonly say ghabrahat ho rahi hai dimag nahi lagta kaam mein thakan ho jati hai and depression which very frequently people are using these days as an adjective to sadness so yeah it's low mood not it's a very common yeah yeah it see the prevalence is more than 30% across population but still i think they are overusing the word because it is a serious mental health issues please do not use words like this without a formal diagnosis yeah right exactly yeah so see there are many myths uh, related to mental health so will you like to share some with our audience today any myths or anything yeah so i think i have this big pitara of myths the every day people tell me and i keep it over there like i'll bust them all one day <laughs> so absolutely see first and foremost myth is that 
पागल लोग का इलाज होता है लाइक जस्ट ये स्टडी आई पुट अप अ स्टोरी आई वाज वाचिंग अ शो इट्स वेरी फेमस शो गिलमोर गर्ल्स इट्स फ्रॉम 2000s अर्ली 2000s सो देयर वाज अ लाइन देयर बाय द कैरेक्टर एंड शी सेड नो पीपल हु गो टू साइकाइट्रिस्ट आर डिविन्स पीपल हु हियर थिंग्स हु सी थिंग्स एंड हु कैन नॉट हु कांट टेक केयर ऑफ देमसेल्व्स सो दिस वाज अ नोशन बैक इन अर्ली 2000s सो एंड आई sadly that has not changed much people will keep on postponing or feeling that going to a psychiatrist is the last resort until it's absolutely out of control so one of the very big myths is that i need do not need to go to see a doctor or a psychiatrist until i'm very sick ki choti moti thodi sadness anxiety wagaira ke liye to to apne aap hi theek ho jayega like you do not need to go to a doctor for that so very very big myth is this only that people with extreme illnesses or very severe illnesses go to a psychiatrist second very big myth let me see let's give you an example from today only yeah so okay. that once medications have been started they go on for life long so this is like every day i hear this on an average 5 to 10 times ask you this question <laughs> this is like ye to roz i hear about this only the reason for that is that i give a very good counter question for that uh do you ask the same question to people who take medications for their uh, blood pressure for their diabetes nobody asks them this question are you habitual why are you taking a diabetes medication regularly wo bhi chhod do nobody just skips no there depression, no? that's why people are like this you know will it go on rather we should start it or not you know because is it addictive Yeah. Like See how can then why does not anybody talk la- about this for anti-hypertensive medications for diabetes medication are they addictive? There are many illnesses. Yeah. So many illnesses are curative, many are manageable. So we all know once a person gets diabetes or uh, hypertension, they are manageable with lifestyle changes and medications. And yes, in some cases they tends to revert back, but in very few. But again, when it comes to psychiatric issues, it's like no, no, इनकी तो आदत पड़ जाती है. They are very addictive. I'll tell you the baseline problem here is that the treatment illness is like the treatment course is a little bit longer. So anywhere from six months to one year, that is the first treatment course. Hence, people feel that they go on forever. Unlike a normal flu, a normal viral or a bacterial infection, which ranges from five to ten days. So similarly, the comparison arises that it is going on forever. Firstly. secondly if there are underlying issues which need to be resolved via therapy so the acceptance of therapy is further very very much less as compared to acceptance of medications because people do not feel that talking and obviously therapy i'm not saying is just talking it's a very different uh concept where a specialist does their job so if we are not addressing therapy with medications we are not addressing the underlying issues we are not addressing the familial issues we are not addressing what the is going on in the subconscious mind we are not addressing how the person is responding to stress so in a case if you are i'll just give a very uh, like trigger warning here and i'll give you an example so unfortunately if there is a child and he is being repeatedly hit and then you go and say to the child that do not cry that would not work so similarly this is how we say that we are giving medications दवाई तो खा रहे हो बट इफ यू नॉट एड्रेसिंग दैट स्लैपिंग अगेन एंड अगेन हाउ डू यू एक्सपेक्ट टू बी फाइन वंस दी स्लैपिंग स्टॉप्स सो देयर आर लॉट ऑफ अंडरलाइंग थिंग्स दैट आर गोइंग ऑन व्हिच नीड टू बी एड्रेस्ड सो दैट व्हेन यू आर वीनिंग ऑफ मेडिकेशन यू आर स्टिल फाइन बोथ दी थिंग्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द कोर्स इज लॉन्गर देयर इज नो डाउट अबाउट दैट बट एनी डे वी आर नॉट कंपेयरिंग to flu or normal diarrhea episodes or normal headache episodes we are comparing it to diabetes and hypertension which are long life long illnesses but once uh, you know does start uh, feeling better you know as soon as the medication starts so there should not be a very big deal about it yeah that is the problem the drugs work like magic anywhere <laughs> from 7 days to 15 days or to a month person starts feeling better very easily in many many cases i'm not talking about resistant cases long standing cases i'm talking about new cases people who have come earlier in the illness who have started seeking help mostly they start feeling well sooner it does not take a long time uh 
and that is the basic issue and you start feeling well you stop medication and there comes this uh, phase of stopping medication and then you when you go, come back to the doctor and that is the difficult time for us because in even in the first visit they are continuously counseling that no you have to take this medication you will start feeling well i'm telling you but do not stop then when they leave the medication and they come back to you the whole circle and then you are like uh, oh the then you restart the medication see many a times it might not work in the same manner yes and then that's when you realize you are taking the illness too lightly for it to cause you problem like If I am well in seven to ten days, I will not see it very seriously. तो ऐसी कुछ हो गया तो बहुत जल्दी से ठीक हो गया. And hence I've left the medications. So maybe in the second time they might not work as effective, or maybe the same medication would won't work. Your doctor would have to go a notch higher. Yes. It might take you longer and with more medications to get better. So it kind of forms a loop. If you leave again, then again your body is going to become more resistant. And see, this is happening with antibiotics also. It's just that we are not realizing on a very subtle level. That is why it's like 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 in the Western countries, you cannot get medication without a prescription. Unlike here, if people have a common cold, if people have the flu, if people have anything, you'll go to the medical store, take antibiotics, two two three, start feeling well, and then you stop it. And that is the issue. We are also developing a lot of resistance to the doctor. Yeah, we are developing so much resistance to antibiotics also, and I'm sure, मतलब in our generation, as we grow older, we are going to see severe resistance, and antibiotics will probably stop working. So, I think so. Yeah. वो तो slower level पे हो रहा है. Antidepressants या medi- uh, psychiatric medications में it's visible more easily, or you get to know about it that okay, see, with they are giving this, and it's not working now. so it's not about a lifelong matter it's about do, taking the prescribed course for that particular illness it might so be 6 months it might be 1 year it might be 3 years and gradually listening to your doctor seeing how they are tapering it off and then easily so many people get tapered off medication and they are living fine right now you know this is an important point which you mentioned just not tapering off people don't realize it you know they just like stop it and they don't taper it off just like that and again you know there is stigma attached to it you know coming to your clinic and all so they want to run away from it i think that's why they just stop it maybe yeah, you thought this is the <laughs> first thing that we are talking about people are coming in hundreds with 1 rupee prescription so if there is this stigma please get out of that society go it out of those people and even if you feel there is so much stigma don't just tell people come for your benefit <laughs> One rupee, like seriously, get help. There is no excuse right now. Okay. Uh, what is the strangest thing you have heard so far regarding mental health? <laughs> I think the internet <laughs> you must be hearing something strange, but yeah, the strangest of all. Oh my God! They, it just adds up. It does so many things. So many things. See, we know that how much there is a very um magic or religious angle attached to it yeah you're kaun scare kar raha hai mujhe so please don't do this to me i really am scared of lizards what happened somebody commented Someone that there is a lizard there please don't do this to me <laughs> someone is playing a prank on you <laughs> my god i'm so scared i'm so scared So this is one of the strange things that happens to me in live sessions where people know that I'm scared of lizards and they do this. Okay, so coming back. Not telling them. Next time again they'll do this. Don't tell them. So uh, yeah, uh, we know that there's a lot of magic or religious angle attached to it. People believe that uh, bad ghosts, demons, spirits are behind a lot of psychiatric illnesses. We are not talking about anxiety, depression. we're talking on lot more psychiatric issues like psychosis there is trance and possession like there's so many things and a lot of times there's malingering angle also malingering means uh, behaving in a particular manner to drive benefit out of the situation again it's a very medical legal term and you have to have an evidence for that but just talking on the surface a lot of magic or religious angle and i'm sure none of us is very alien to this concept we have heard this around our house on the internet on the tv very frequently ye mata aa gayi to ye ho gaya hai and so people go through various lengths to get this evil eye or this evil spirit removed from their life which sometimes if a person is having a serious mental health issue might just add on to it 
ranging anywhere from mental to emotional to physical scarring also so i have seen people getting physical scars just to get the evil spirit removed so i have seen young girls with burn mark scars on their tongue on their hands on their stomach That's quite just bad. because they want to get rid of this evil thing that was possessing them so many times people come to psychiatrists just after they have exhausted all of these resources all the babas have said that no go to a doctor now there is no evil spirit involved in this and imagine ek ek ye jadu tantra mantra karane mein people have told me uh, that it takes anywhere from around 1500 to 5000 rupees for one session oh just to get these things that are required for this tantra mantra thing and imagine like you would have <laughs> taking advantage of you know these people yeah so utne amount of money mein kitna zyada fayda ho sakta tha with a consultation as well as medications and obviously in a much 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 safer manner you we all have heard that joke right that people will uh, sit on the corners of roads eat the worst fried food where there's a nala nearby take all that golgappa things and when they come to the doctor they will be like please write me a very safe medication i don't want any side effects <laughs> so yeah some of the, the medications have become a culprit in a lot of things that people start believing only they are very harmful things and rest everything that we are eating junk food is fine having an unhealthy lifestyle not sleeping on time watching binge watching things is absolutely very healthy so yes this is एक वो नोशन फॉर्म हो गया है कि नहीं मेडिकेशन ही बुरी चीज है या आई सो समवन वाज आस्किंग दिस क्वेश्चन हियर कैन आई टेक होम्योपैथिक मेडिसिन फॉर डिप्रेशन इज दैट लाइक इज दैट पॉसिबल यस आई वुड नॉट बी द राइट एक्सपर्ट टू कमेंट ऑन दैट यस देयर आर अ लॉट ऑफ होम्योपैथिक डॉक्टर्स वर्किंग इन साइकाइट्रिक फील्ड बट इट इज नॉट माय एरिया ऑफ एक्सपर्टीज सो आई एम आउट yeah so uh, like i would like to put up this question like is every time medication uh, a necessity if depression or anxiety is there or if, i mean it works the other way also we classify any mental health issue as i am very roughly saying mild moderate severe so if it is in the beginning with a depression let's talk particularly about it uh, there are guidelines which say mild depression just go for therapy but the problem is that when a person is in mild depression the work is going on fine and they very rarely seek help when a person is in the moderate state like you are sick and as well as your functioning is impaired that time we advise starting of medication and therapy both simultaneously and if you later or in the moderately severe or severity stage we say start with medications and then as your mind and body starts becoming receptive or better then start opting for therapy so see your brain needs to be porous and be able to comprehend therapy also if you are a boy but if a person is like really physically sick and you say oh running gives you a lot of help it, they will not be able to run when they are physically ill similarly comes with therapy if your mind is not jammed right now it's not working you are completely ekdam wo jo kehte severity mein trapped how can you be responsive to therapy at that medications to correct that right yeah. and specifically agar bahut roughly hum divide kare to uh, therapy works very nice for a lot of issues like you could go for familial counseling you could go family therapy you could go to couples therapy you could just start th- see therapy is for everybody medication is not for everybody even if without any issue if, even if i want to have a new job if in i am entering marriage even if i am having a promotion i might opt for therapy therapy is for me to understand myself for me to become a better version of myself and yes depending on that there are different types of therapists who help you through that so each and every one of us and any one of us can start opting for therapy even if you feel there is nothing wrong with you it will just help you become and understand yourself and just like give, you, give you better tools for future work future assignments like anything but yes medication is not for everybody you need to uh, be analyzed by a specialist and then be referred for the same that are you in that stage where medications will help you or or are you in kind of a life changing event or a uh, like an adjustment issue where therapy might be a better option for you correct and doctor do you think like um, successful people don't suffer from depression or anxiety or is it the other way around so thankfully i think pb consider these bollywood celebrities as heroes so they have been coming up with a lot of 
ओपननेस अबाउट मेंटल हेल्थ इश्यूज सो ये वाला बबल तो उन लोगों ने खुद ही बस्ट कर दिया कि वी कंसीडर देम टू बी द मोस्ट सक्सेसफुल पीपल बिकॉज़ जो बॉलीवुड में तो इफ दे कैन हैव अ मेंटल हेल्थ इशू विद दैट काइंड ऑफ लग्जरी दैट काइंड ऑफ मनी एंड दैट काइंड ऑफ सक्सेस सो वही बात है कोविड किसी को देख के थोड़ी हो रहा था हुज रिच एंड हुज नॉट तो इलनेस इज नेवर डिस्क्रिमिनेट नो इलनेस कैन डिस्क्रिमिनेट बट वी कैन नॉट stress as an issue over here na no? successful people are are having more stressful life so maybe they are more prone to these issues it's not like that uh, like we cannot narrow it down to some, we we that is why in psychiatry we always say that uh, it's you cannot pinpoint and say ye problem hai ya ye solution hai there is a lot of psycho it's uh, that is a mental health issues are different from any other illnesses there you can pinpoint ye bacterial infection tha ye viral tha ये इस ये वाले खाने से हुआ बट वेन इट कम्स यूर इट स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द टाइम यू वर बोर्न हाउ इज योर अपब्रिंगिंग वट काइंड ऑफ एटमोस्फेयर यूर एक्सपोज टू वॉट हैज बिन योर पेरेंटिंग हर चीज आके अगर आज एक मेंटल हेल्थ इशू है तो हाउ डू आई रिस्पॉन्ड टू इट एंड इवन माई ब्रदर हु हैज बिन इन द सेम फैमिली ब्रॉट अप विद द सेम वैल्यूज ही माइट रिस्पॉन्ड डिफरेंटली टू इट हमारे अंदर पर्सनैलिटी पर भी डिपेंड करेगा नॉट जस्ट दी एनवायरमेंट दैट एम लिविंग विद but still saying all of these things we cannot deny that the people who are living in survival mode from the lower socio economic status they have more difficulties and more stress a person who has to differentiate whether to go to a daily wage job and earn their roti for the day versus seeking help obviously cannot be in the same stress level as a person who can very easily afford to have a seven day vacation for their mental health so i would say it is any day the other way around बट सक्सेसफुल की नहीं है बट अपॉर्चुनिटीज और रिसोर्सेस की है विच वी डो नॉट टॉक अबाउट एन आर दैट अ पर्सन इफ दे आर वरीड अबाउट देयर इमीडिएट कि आज खाना मिलेगा कि नहीं मिलेगा दैट इज अ वेरी बिगर डील देन कि आज एक कंपनी की डील होगी कि नहीं होगी अगेन डिपेंडिंग ऑन पर्सनैलिटी सिचुएशन सर्कमस्टांसिस वो सब तो बैकग्राउंड में है so like uh, are there any tips or advice which you like to give the audience you know uh, to improve on their mental health अगेन मेंटल हेल्थ वी से मेंटल इलनेस एंड मेंटल हेल्थ आर नॉट टू ऑपोजिट थिंग्स कि आज मेंटली हेल्दी है कल मेंटल इलनेस हो जाएगी वी ऑल आर लिविंग ऑन अ स्पेक्ट्रम देयर आर लॉट ऑफ अप्स एंड डाउन्स और रोज कुछ ना कुछ ऐसे होएगा ही कि इट इज नॉट लाइक दैट आई एम हैप्पी ऑल द टाइम वी ऑल हैव आवर डेज वी ऑल हैव अ स्ट्रगल्स इन आवर लाइफ बट टू फील दैट देयर इज एनी क्विक रेमेडी और फिक्स फॉर इट इट्स नॉट पॉसिबल लाइक फॉर एनी अदर इलनेस आई वुड जस्ट स्टार्ट बाय सेइंग प्लीज प्लीज जब भी ये बात रियलाइज हो स्टार्ट गिविंग डू इम्पॉर्टेंस टू योर स्लीप साइकिल द अर्लियर यू रियलाइज इट द अर्लियर क्यू कैन रेगुलेट इट बिकम बेस्ट फ्रेंड्स विद योर स्लीप साइकिल हैव अ वेरी हेल्दी स्लीप हाइजीन लाइक किस टाइम सोना है वॉट टाइम डू यू वॉन्ट वेक अप वॉट आर यू डोजिंग ऑफ आर यू स्लीपिंग आर यू जस्ट सो ओवर वर्क डेट यू लाइट ऑन एंड यू बी लाइक सुबह देखेंगे अब जो है हैव अ स्लीप हाइजीन have a pro- whatever your body requirement is we all are very built very differently studies have shown that anywhere to one to two years anxiety and depressive illness are preceded with insomnia so we cannot take it lightly people would just see jo wo major events hai ki ekdam se kaam karna band ho gaya bahut crying start ho gayi do teen hafte se aisa ho raha hai when you dig in deep you will realize they were having insomnia for the past one year so it's not just कि स्लीप ही तो है कभी भी ले लो ऐसा नहीं है तो बचपन में होता था ना दैट यू आर वेरी रनिंग अवे फ्रॉम स्लीप एंड एज यू ग्रो यू रियलाइज इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ माई लाइफ तो ये और अच्छे से इम्बाइब कर लो अपनी स्लीप को बहुत बहुत प्रायोरिटी देना स्टार्ट करो नो एंड स्टार्ट सेइंग नो फॉर अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स टॉप फीलिंग गिल्टी अबाउट सेइंग नो फॉर इवेंट्स फॉर फंक्शन फॉर अपॉर्चुनिटीज एज वेल इफ इट स्टैंड एनी वेयर अब यूर मेंटल एंड फिजिकल सो फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस्ट स्लीप Uh, secondly having a healthy work life balance which is absolutely disrupted in covid we have brought our work into our house and it somehow refuses to leave now yeah so please in mm-hmm. change but still we ne- agar if this is the new normal then be it but then we need to start drawing boundaries in the new normal need to make the art yeah mental health would not just come by that i'll just have one therapy session i'll have two medication and everything is fine it is so much lifestyle based 
it is so much about how do you take care of your physique and your mind in on an everyday basis see very very common phrase either you take rest or your body forces you to i like i have been using this professionally and sadly personally i have been there done that i have overworked i have crashed and i had i have been forced to, to rest by my body because i wasn't giving it enough time and energy and the tlc it required so yes yeah. the earlier you realize that it is a completely lifestyle thing we cannot keep stress at bay we can just learn to manage stress we can learn to move through it we can enter therapy with a partner or with like uh, alone or with my family and learn how to have healthier relations for the future which are productive for me just or maybe just satisfying for me start journaling there like there's so many things you could do just pick up any diary and start writing down what basic journaling what is bothering you what makes you happy what makes you sad are these situations avoidable are those people avoidable cut ties with toxic people very importantly you do not need to carry on ye fairy tale wali image ki bachpan ke friends ko hamesha zindagi bhar saath leke chalna hai if it's harming you in any manner cut off those ties and move away cut off the toxic things <laughs> yeah sure and specifically diet diet may uh, see there is no specific reason mai all line batati hu isme there like we know why covid is happening ye wala virus hai ye covid kar done and done we do not exactly we cannot exactly pinpoint why depression is happening we know there are neurotransmitters we have talked about serotonin we have talked about dopamine but it's not like 100% done day that is why all of us aren't, aren't having it thyroid disorders we know ye wala report aaya itna thyroid ki medication chalegi ho jayega so depressive uh, illnesses they are also related to lot of inflammatory food which means a lot of junk food so one of the hypothesis for depression is that inflammatory markers increase in the body so a lot of junk food chronically over time might lead to that accumulating and can be a contributing factor i'm not saying it is the only reason and only causative factor but going on with that साथ साथ चल के वो उतनी आपको मतलब क्रॉनिकली हर्ट कर सकता है ऑब्वियसली फिजिकल हेल्थ के लिए तो अच्छा है ही नहीं वन सी ना वाइल इज गुड टू हैव हम सबको पता है सबको अच्छा लगता है वो वाला फूड खाना नो डाउट अबाउट इट बट इफ इट इज बिकम इन योर रूटीन इन योर डेली स्कैड्यूल आई एम श्योर इट विल पुल यू बैक इन टर्म्स ऑफ फटीक एनर्जी लेवल्स इन टर्म्स ऑफ नॉट फीलिंग अ लॉट लाइक क्लियर थिंकिंग rich in nutrients so obviously yeah. it will get back it is filling your satiety not your needs acha lagta hai khane mein wo alag wala high hai ki wo wali khushi jo ho rahi hai but ultimately your body is not meeting its requirements ultimately jo bhi hamari body mein wo ban to food se hi raha whatever food we are eating that's creating all my hormones that i need for survival so if i am not eating the right kind of food not having a proper sleep not doing it my daily little bit exercise whichever i can fit into my routine Then, कहीं ना कहीं आज नहीं तो कल इन लॉन्ग लास्टिंग इशूज क्रॉनिकली आप जस्ट लाइक बहुत बेसिकली कंपेयर योर सेल्फ टू योर ग्रैंड मॉम शी विल गिव योर लॉन्ग लिस्ट ऑफ थिंग वॉट्स रॉन्ग विद यू एंड इट वॉज नॉट रॉन्ग विद सो सी लाइफ स्टाइल इज हैज चेंज अलॉट दे इज नो कंपेयरिंग टू एनी जनरेशन एंड जस्ट गिविंग अफ आइडिया तो हाँ चेंज तो आ ही रहे हैं हमारे में उनके स्टेमिना में फर्क है हमारी फूड हैबिट्स पोल्यूशन एक्सेट्रा सो मेनी थिंग्स आर डिफरेंट बट एस सो वी माइट वी रन द रिस्क ऑफ डेवलपिंग मोर एंड मोर हेल्थ इश्यूज बिकॉज़ ऑफ़ लाइफस्टाइल समवन इज़ आस्किंग लाइक हाउ डू आई हैंडल एंजाइटी it's okay to feel anxious when you are going for a job interview like thoda bahut anxiety we all have depending it becomes a problem when it is hampering my functioning mai aaj kaam pe hi nahi ja pa rahi thi anxiety hai ya mujhe social situation se bhagna pad raha so if is come to that point of time again jo maine jo bahut basic baatein batai if it is not being managed by those also staying hydrated is one journaling is one ye bahut main mild issues ke liye bata rahi hu if it is still not being manageable please please consider therapy and medication you will feel the results in i am not saying weeks i am saying days within days you can you will forget about what anxiety was 
occasionally it might come up but with both these things it's very very nicely manageable baki ye lifestyle hydration good diet exercising ye sab to help karega hi meditation deep breathing exercise this is well and well good ye to continue karo hi but don't delay see yoga right yeah yoga hmm but about you know good lifestyle yoga is very nice if done properly you do not want to stretch out the wrong parts in the wrong direction you hurt yourself right so uh, audience if anybody has any questions please put them up we'll answer them now uh, what is this ma'am yeah i don't know what effect is normal for soon effect is normal what is this i don't maybe something related to heartbeat or something Yeah, so anxiety. If, if it is a, about heartbeat, so anxiety presents very, very commonly with palpitations and increased heartbeat. So usually people go to emergencies, people go to a cardiologist, and then they are referred back to a psychiatrist that it's not a heart issue; it is an anxiety issue. So if frequently you have been feeling palpitations, sweating, fogginess, that you're not able to concentrate, and always on survival mode, that running. either physically or mentally or emotionally from things it might be a symptom of anxiety that you are experiencing uh i don't know this is some question someone is saying like uh, is there is no scope in psychology field uh, is this real i don't know what bahut scope hai aage chal ke mental health issues abhi 30% hai uh, who has said that uh by 2030 depression is going to be the leading cause of world issues and as well as deaths also surpassing cardiac issues so illness anyway is increasing and hopefully the requirement for people required to treat those illnesses will also increase soon but any day survival in any branch is difficult these days uh, psychology is a good field i advise you to go into good colleges do your research beforehand RCI recognition. What kind of branch in psychology you want to take? But pehle basics. Apna graduation, post graduation. Do your research. Ask people around. Just call in. Jana jaate hain. Wahan se logo se pucho. Talk to psychologists. They will guide you very nicely about this. बहुत scope है. ऐसा नहीं है. Someone is saying like you know uh, the behavior changes when someone is watching us. So is there anything wrong in that? This behavior is changing. It might be personality issue. <laughs> ranging just from personality issue to anxiety to severe mental health issues also so i have seen people uh, in severity there are very different things again may, how am i as basic person will reflect in my illness to so, severity mein kuch bhi ho sakta hai but generally ye thoda social anxiety ki side zyada hai that you get conscious when people are watching you and you tend to behave in a particular manner Are there any more questions? Questions. End the session for today. And uh, yeah, Doctor Rashi, it was wonderful talking to you. And uh, I would. Uh, are you there? <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I would like to. Okay. I would like to thank you on behalf of Girls Dot Bus for uh, sparing time for us and you know sharing such great knowledge about mental health with us. And uh, audience, we'll be saving this on our feed so you can refer the session anytime. And yeah, uh, you can follow Dr. Rashi on her Insta handle, which is Dr. Rashi Psychiatrist. That is D R Rashi Psychiatrist. Do follow her. And thank you, everyone. Dr. Rashi, do you want to add up anything to this? thank you so much for having me i hope these sessions like we always say any session even if we are able to change the thinking mentality or just get one people one person to seek help today our work here is done so mental health for the win and hopefully we do not uh, get to see this 2030 start like hopefully it comes down by then by a lot of lifestyle changes and yes obviously by eradicating this stigma So thank you so okay. much for having me. Have a very good evening. Bye bye. Good evening. Bye bye. We'll end the session now. Bye. Thank you. Bye.